Kansas City. So we're going to kick things off with a story that has some pop. How many times have you sat around with your friends dreaming of brilliant business ideas? Someone says, oh, you should do that. And then no one ever does it. But a group of local college friends did follow through. Elizabeth found out it's all thanks to a night spent in their friend's empty garage. We're throwing around a few ideas, joking about a lemonade stand or like a jazz club tailgating party in his garage, stuff, silly ideas. And I think it's Sean's like, hey, let's go back to that lemonade thing. Why don't we make our own soda? And just like that, the group of six students from Metropolitan Community College started mixing concoctions in their garage. I think we probably tried a hundred different flavors before settling on this one. Some of those flavors weren't so pleasant. It was a mint soda. It just didn't work out. It made me want to throw up. But just as the group was about to throw in the towel, they had one more thought. One more flavor, threw it together, and was like, tweaked it a little bit, and it was warm and flat, but it was really good. So we figured if we could find a way of getting it cold and carbonated, it'd be even better. That's when Atomic Fizz Soda was born. So what does it taste like? Well, almost everyone seems to taste something a bit different. We've had things from citrus soda, Dr. Pepper kind of thing, cotton candy, ice. Uh, I personally taste bottle caps candy. I know Tanner tastes Skittles. Bottom line, it's a citrusy cream soda-like taste that's gaining in popularity. And while the group loves watching others enjoy their creation, it's also taught them an extremely important lesson. We were just six co broke college students back in April, and now we have our own business. And I think that if we can do something like that here in Independence, I like to think people look at it as a way of, hey, maybe I can do something like that. Maybe I can start pursuing my dreams now. That's pretty cool. All right, now to smart spending.